Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can add fake sun rays to your images using Photoshop, which in my opinion is especially useful for those kind of mountain shots you can see right here. So let's get started. Now in order to create those fake sun rays I'm going to apply a gradient adjustment layer. And the very first thing I'm going to do here is to change the style from linear to angle. And then I'm going to click on the gradient and in this pop-up window I'm going to change the gradient type from solid to noise which will add all those funky colors you can see there. Now those will be the fake sun rays I'm going to add to the image. Of course the color is very wrong so I'm going to change that now and I'm doing that by going to the color mode and change RGB to HSB. And with the help of the hue slider, I can set the color range to a nice warm color which fits for the sunlight. I think something like this doesn't look too bad. Also, it's a bit too saturated, so I'm going to reduce the saturation with that slider. And to visualize your sun rays, all those brighter parts of the gradient will later be visible as sun rays. So if you don't like this pattern, for example, you can click on randomize and it will create a new pattern for you. So click it a few times until you are satisfied. And I think that could work quite well. Then just hit OK and again hit OK. Now I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to screen. And you can see right now it's way, way, way too bright. So I'm going to apply a curves adjustment layer, which I want to clip to the gradient adjustment layer by hitting Alt and click between those two layers so only the gradient will be affected by the curve. And in order to darken this gradient, I'm going to drag the black point to the right. Also maybe reduce the opacity of the gradient as it is still a bit too strong. So another problem you can see right now is the sun rays come from the wrong direction kind of. You can easily fix that by opening the gradient uh, settings again and once this window is open you can move around that layer to adjust the position of the sun rays. Also if you still don't like the color you can again click on the gradient and click on randomize and then just search for a fitting sun ray. Then I want to put those two adjustment layers in a new group. On that group I'm adding a layer mask so I can mask out certain areas. Basically I'm going to fill that layer mask with black so nothing is visible from the layers beneath it. Then I'm choosing a brush and the white foreground color and set the opacity to around 30 or 40 percent. And now I can start brushing in the fake sunlight. Once you have brushed in the fake sun ray, you can still change a lot of things. For example, let's add some vibrance to that light by applying a new adjustment layer, vibrance. And here I'm just increasing the vibrance. And you can see how it only affects the sun ray in this case. For this picture though, I'm getting rid of the extra vibrance. But I want to add some extra glow and therefore I'm applying a new layer and set the blending mode to hard light. Again, I'm picking up the brush tool and select the color from the former clouds up there. Uh, let's make this color a bit brighter. Now to add this glow, I'm going to change the opacity of the brush to around 10% and I'm going to set the brush size to around one pixel. Then I'm painting around the area of the sun and each time I'm brushing, I'm also increasing the brush size. Of course it's not working now because I have created a new layer in the light ray group. So I need to place it somewhere else and now you can see the glow. So from here on you can do a little bit more to the image like applying some nick collection filters or whatever. But I hope the basic idea behind this was understandable. And I also hope this was a new technique uh, for at least some of you. So thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel.